Uh, bad First news. Up, we on. didn't bring it home, did we? We didn't. England didn't bring that cup home. England have landed back in the United Kingdom after their uh, crushing World Cup exit at the hands of France on Saturday. I'm very, very sad about it. The whole nation is sad as about it. How are you guys feeling? Well, I, I, I just looked at David Baddiel's Instagram and he said, you know, nearly 60 years of hurt beep, 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 and some very rude words. And I thought, gosh, it's been an awfully long wait, hasn't it? And also, we kept saying to ourselves and to each other, we could really do with it. Yeah, we really, really need I it this really time. We, it's we a real it. winter think, of discontent. Put, we do, love Gareth Southgate do doing put, so well. Yeah. We just, we, we, I think we'd almost persuaded ourselves it was definitely going to happen, hadn't yeah. we? It, so, so I sad. I feel so bad about this, because when I watch, we win. And I watched in 1966, and I haven't had time to catch up on the football since. But I do know that we did very well. <laughs> I've heard how well we did. Uh, <coughs> Mr Southgate is clearly a really decent person, and we did well. We could have won, couldn't we? We, we could have, but we, we were almost, But we didn't. I we hate just... the fact that Gareth is considering his position now. He said, I want to make the right decision either way because it has to be the right one. I don't think tonight is the time to make a decision like that. He is such a sensible and grown-up person. Yeah. He's got two years of his contract still to serve. He's wondering, can I actually do anything that's of value Aww. for these lads? Because they're, I understand, a young team, mm. there's real potential here. He's not going to be there forever. Maybe the time is to hand over now. What he's done really well is there's an expectation and a level of pressure, uh, unrealistic level of pressure, both yeah. on the pitch and off the pitch before he got there. And what he's done so well is he's, ta he's taken those players aside and he's said to them, it's OK if you make mistakes and it's OK if you make mistakes in interviews. And he's stood by them and he's, mm -hmm. he's trusted them. And, and you can see that they've, they've grown as, as young men as well. And the young men, just look at the work Marcus Rashford's done. Look at how, what a, a gentleman Bakayo Saka is. Mm. You just see how those young men have, have filled into the role. And if you compare that to how we all expect footballers to behave, mm. Yeah, you just, you, you know, the nation should be proud of I those just players. Wonder, if you you get to when... the last day in a major tournament, anything can happen. You and you're going when... up against probably the yeah. best team in the world. When Sebastian Coe, Lord, now Lord Coe, went from sort of running incredibly fast into politics, I wonder whether Gareth South, South, Southgate could do that, whether he'd be Ooh. a real adornment to the House of Lords or something, or whether he'd just be terrific and, and, and really statesman-like. Youngsters. youngsters love don't him, you don't you think mind? so? Mm. I think I he could have a public-facing role. He's a proper role, role model, yeah. isn't he? Tremendous, yeah. Well, also, I'm trying to introduce my grandchildren this idea of when you're feeling up upset, you just bite the top of your, you know, you do this. <laughs> this is what they seem to be doing, you know, in... in which get is, the frustration. This yes. doesn't, if this news review doesn't go well, I want to see you doing that at the end of it, just a bit like, <laughs> oh, I should have said this about Wexford. I, I personally do. feel, though, <coughs> with regards to Sterling, I'm not quite sure they should, he should have played him because I don't feel like his head is in the game. What do you think? I, I, I think that you heard someone say that in makeup <laughs> and you decided to just... <laughs> you know I haven't got a clue, but yeah. personally, I just don't think Sterling should have been played. <coughs> Brilliant. Uh, something that is coming home is, oh, is a cat. This is Dave the cat. Love this element. Uh, this football story. may not be coming home, but Dave, the stray cat adopted by the England team, is. The stray cat, nicknamed Dave, became a regular around the England camp, apparently, and was eventually adopted by the team's unofficial so mascot. Oh, I love that. How yeah. cute is that? He's There's coming home. He's coming Poor old Dave, he's going to have so he's much coming. treatment. Dave is coming, coming home. home. But I assume Dave is still here. I mean, the day didn't go to Qatar. No, he's the, in Qatar and he's no, coming Dave's home in here. Qatar. No, he's, yeah. Dave is yeah, in Qatar. Oh, he's, being, he's being muted. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, so sorry. he's being vaccinated. He's having every possible yeah. treatment you can imagine for old Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Dave's coming home. He's going to be yeah. an illegal cat immigrant. John yeah. Stones and Carl Walker were pictured uh, with Dave on most evenings uh, and they promised to adopt him if they won the World Cup. Despite the loss, Dave is coming home. Yes. Oh. Wonderful stuff. Well, Lucky cat on the planet. Is it going to be, though? It's used to being in a country named after it, Qatar, to come home here. Oh, Dave's going to have a great life, right? Oh, imagine. does he speak English? Oh, dear, I'm not sure. He anyway. speaks the universal language of cats. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>